Hi everybody, my name is Gina Gerboth. Welcome to STAT 312 Epidemiology. Um, in this class, your first assignment is to create a video introduction of yourselves. And so it should just be about three to five minutes in length. It doesn't have to be um, fancy or perfect. I'm not grading you on the content. I just want to get to know you a little bit. Um, I know that this will push some of you outside of your comfort zone. And I would encourage you to just go forward and try to make these videos and post them. But if it's not something that you feel like you can do, please let me know and I will, um, uh, I'll talk to you about that further. But it's really pretty fun and it helps me put a face to your name. And um, like I said, I'm not grading you on content. I just want you to uh, get to know this technology a little bit. So uh, just a word about how to do the video. For me, it's easiest to record it on photo booth on my computer. And then I made a free YouTube channel and then I um, uploaded it to YouTube. And then in Canvas on the discussion boards, there's a YouTube video uh, button and you can embed the video into the discussion board from YouTube. Uh, I recommend that you do it this way because we can all read it no matter what kind of computer we have. I have a Mac, so if you attach a Windows movie file, I won't be able to watch the video and I can't give you credit for that. Um, but you can upload an mp4 file if that would be easier for you. Um, and then also make sure in this discussion board that you comment on your fellow students um, or sister students uh, discussion posts and video introductions as well. Um, in general, in this class, we will have um, participation assignments and um, and some, uh, there's one paper due and um, an analysis assignment, and then you have a midterm exam and a final exam. The midterm exam is due, um, or it's not, what I want to say is it's in the quizzes function of Canvas and it's not proctored. So it's kind of a practice exam for the final exam. The final exam is proctored by Examity, and in the module section of the course, you'll find instructions for how to start an Examity account and um, and schedule that exam for this class if you haven't done that for other courses yet. Um, oh, and then we also have a, I missed the uh, near miss audit or maternal death review assignment, so that's one other one that I forgot to mention. Um, the participation assignments are either discussion boards or uh, live conferences. If you miss the live conference, it will be recorded and you can uh, write a summary paper about the um, session. There's instructions for that in each of the assignments in the modules. Um, for the participation assignments, I would like you to do, you'll, you'll be doing two substantial posts in each discussion board. You can either choose to do two original posts um, or you can do your post and then comment in a substantive way on somebody else's post. And you want to back up all your assertions with evidence. And so I'd like your post to include a citation of, um, of what you're using to um, make your point. And um, the, uh, the posts are due in the um, syllabus towards the end. Your first post is due um, by Wednesday at midnight, and the second is due by Sunday at midnight. And... Um, if you only do one, you'll only get half credit. So it's a good idea to do uh, both the posts each week. And the participation assignments, remember, cannot be made up if you take an extension on the course. So you really want to get those done week by week. Um, there's some rubrics in the back of the syllabus about what I'm looking for. And um, there's no reason for, um, for you to miss points. I mean, you'll miss some points because we're not perfect, but um, if you follow the rubric, you'll know what I'm looking for as I'm doing my grading. Um, our text is medical epidemiology. It's pretty accessible. Um, epidemiology is a big scary word, but it's um, all it really is is the study of patterns of diseases and behaviors and um, public health type problems and the analysis of that and understanding um, what's going on so that we can make good important public health decisions and policies and programs. So it um, epidemiology really provides the evidence for public health interventions. And uh, in your discussion post, this first one, I would like you to introduce yourself, which I'm going to do in just a second, and um, tell me a little bit about how you think epidemiology is relevant to your uh, work as a midwife. 
So your post only needs to be about three to five minutes. I'm not going to grade you on the time, so don't feel like if you're a couple seconds short, I'm going to take off or anything because that's not, I'm not out to take off points. So my personal introduction is, my name is Gina Gerboth, and I'm a practicing midwife in Denver. I've been here for about five years. I've been a midwife for about six and a half years, so most of my um, practice has happened in Denver. I am uh, the mother of three boys. Quinn is 19, Liam is 16, and Reese will be 13 in October. So for a very brief period of time, I'm going to have three teenage boys. And therefore, my grocery budget is very high. Um, so I have my master's of public health as well as being a midwife. I um, got that degree through the Colorado School of Public Health, which is a consortium of University of Colorado uh, University of Northern Colorado and Colorado State University. So um, it, I sort of designed my own. My uh, concentration is maternal and child health, but I really designed my own program around midwifery um, since I was a midwife before I got my master's of public health. And um, and what I learned or what I've really come to appreciate is that uh, midwifery is a critical tool for addressing public health uh, needs around the world. And so we really cannot, um, <clears throat> sorry, my computer time's out if I don't touch it, really cannot overstate the importance of uh, midwives in the world in the field of public health. And so epidemiology, like I said, it's, it's kind of a, a scary sounding word, but really all it is is the study of how these patterns um, can guide us to um, not only make decisions, but to... Um, put our efforts in out into the world in a meaningful and effective way. And so I hope that you come to appreciate this subject as much as I do in the course of this semester. Um, we will have a lot more fun if we um, kind of have good discussions and people show up for live lessons. There's um, some guest lectures this semester, I think. Um, I actually think I am getting this confused with another class. Sorry, I'm also teaching public health. Um, but but anyway, in the in the live conferences um, is really where we'll have an, a lot of opportunity to exchange ideas if we're all there. If we're not there, we lose out on a lot of perspective. So I hope that you all can prioritize um, the live conferences, which I have scheduled, by the way, for... Um, hang on, let me go check on Canvas... Um, the live conferences in general are scheduled for, um, let me go look at Tuesdays at, um, oh boy, my computer is being really slow, I'm sorry. I think it's Tuesdays at 1, but I don't want to say it just yet. Um, no, 9 a.m. Tuesdays at 9 a.m. So that's going to be a little bit early for some of you, especially those of you on Pacific time. It'll be 8 a.m. for you. But Tuesdays, 9 a.m. Mountain Time are going to be when our live lessons are or our live conferences are scheduled. So plan to attend those as much as you possibly can. Um, I don't have set office hours, but I'm always available, um, or if you want me to set up live office, office hours, I can do that too, but you can um, email me or call me. My number and email are on the um, introduction page to the course, or you can also just uh, send me a message in Canvas. That's probably the easiest way. So I really look forward to getting to know you. Again, your video doesn't have to be this long. I just wanted to introduce you to the class a little bit. Um, I do recommend printing out the syllabus, reading that first, and um, let's get this semester off to a good start. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Bye.